1943, at 21 years old, he joined the Navy and uh, learned to fly off of uh, paddle wheel steam boats. That's what they made. Air they made them into aircraft carriers and put them out on Lake Michigan and said, go learn how to land on it. He won a Distinguished Flying Cross at Iwo Jima, flying uh, ground support for the troops up on top of Mount Suribuchi. On their way to Iwo Jima, um, they were in the South China Sea and it was a typhoon and there's like about 125 ships in a, in a fleet at that time, like 20 aircraft carriers. They were small, so they, didn't have, they only had like two squadrons on them. And for my father, the, during the typhoon, the ship would pitch and the, the flight deck operator would, every time they hit a wave and then the flight deck would go up, he would launch an airplane. Well, when my father was turn, his turn to launch, the ship went up and then hit a rogue wave and came down and he drove his airplane straight into the, ground, into the water and then floated overnight alone. Watched the whole fleet go over the horizon and he's floating in a Mae West in a, in a typhoon, 20 some odd foot waves. A destroyer came back and um, actually found him. I mean, one human being floating around in the, in the South China Sea. We wouldn't be here if he wasn't <clears throat> as tough as he was. It's a fact.